Kabi, you said he's a professor of mathematics. I'm just interested in finding out which came first, where. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, I think it's both. Uh -huh. I think they are concurrent. Yes. Yeah, because it's it's not just mathematics. Yes. It's applied mathematics. Applied mathematics. I'm not sure specific. what's the difference between maths and applied mathematics. <laughs> Yes, but I think they both kept, they both grew with each other because he's a Misa boy. Yes. So I think he, he, they, they've always gone hunting. But why, why are we guessing? Why don't we ask you? Yes. <laughs> Which one came first? Peter? I would say that uh, mathematics came first, uh, but I was still playing football when I was in the university. I, I studied at JQuart from my undergraduate all the way to my PhD. Uh, so during that time, I was still playing football and uh, I was pursuing uh, the academics. Then when I finished my PhD, that is 2013, that's when now I went full blast to refereeing. Mm. Yes. What position did you play? Uh, I was an excellent goalkeeper. <laughs> 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 but I, I'm sure so should so you ask I could you not be your record. <laughs> yes, I have good good record, as far, especially in conceding. Mm. Oh, in conceding. <laughs> yes. But, but all in all, so yes. what, what made you decide, okay, leave goalkeeping aside, let me go into officiating? Uh, Physically, I'm not well gifted. So, yes. and uh, you look at international level, uh, goalkeepers are big. Uh, you mm. saw Mendy some few minutes ago, how they are giants. Yes. So, I felt also I was growing older. Okay, so if you have not yet played for the national team, uh, or the, uh, let's say national team at 20, 24, 25, I thought that curve may not go very well. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I decided to change. So, I want thinking either coaching or uh, refereeing, but I was still uh, physically strong. So mm -hmm. I decided to go to refereeing. Peter, you've, you've, re you've arbitrated in many tournaments. I think the big ones are the Africa Cup of Nations, mm -hmm. the FIFA World Cup for under 19. Mm -hmm. And you could have actually been in Qatar. What happened? Uh, it's difficult to answer. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you know Kenya is still suspended. Yes. Uh, so unfortunately, I could not be able to, to travel. Mm -hmm. Because Kenya is still suspended. Uh, and as far as FIFA is concerned, no, none of the Kenyans. Because as a referee, you travel as a Kenyan. Okay. okay you don't travel as an individual. So I, the first thing they say, Kenyan referee Peter Oweru. Mm -hmm. So I would not have been able to go. Uh, but uh, when no future God will open opportunity. Mm -hmm. What's the hardest bit about referring? Uh, a referee basically is a judge. And uh, you can be assured no one is always happy with the, de the decisions, especially if a decision goes against you. Mm -hmm. uh, so whenever, maybe you consider penalty. Uh, the referee, according to you as a defender, you will be feeling he is unfair. The attacker will be celebrating, mm -hmm. but some few minutes later, when he concedes also, uh, it ends up looking also as if the referee is un unfair. So I would say what is the most difficult thing in refereeing is players accepting your decisions. Mm. Okay? Selling your decision is not easy. Uh, so, but when uh, once, once you have uh, gotten used to it and you have gone at the high level, then you just just a normal job and you're able to move on.